What's up YouTube, Dan here and welcome to another episode of my potential teams for the 2013-2014 season and not only that, the FIFA 14 actual game. So today we've actually got the Arsenal team and in the comments section below leave your ideas for the next team I should do, whether that be Chelsea, Real Madrid, Man City, Man United, tell, you, tell me in the comments section below. So I've gone for a slightly different format in today's episode, we've actually got a pitch instead of just the slides you could say in the last episode, I just put them out on a row of four, but today we've actually put them on the pitch, and obviously I've just used players that could be, no players that are actually at the team still, uh, so for instance say Koscielny, but I've actually, there's this probably about five of the 11 players I've actually put on the pitch who actually go to uh, Arsenal in the summer, I'm guessing probably Williams, uh, Cesar, Higuain looks highly likely, maybe even Fellaini, maybe even Thiago, but the first player I should start with is David Villa, he's actually the left winger from Barcelona. It looks like he's on his way to Atletico Madrid because I made this on Monday night and he actually, I think someone told me that he was actually going to Atletico Madrid so it's a bit of a downfall towards that. But tell me in the comment section below what left midfield do you think Arsenal will have next season. So obviously they've got Oxlade Chamberlain, looks like he'll have a good season in the next couple of seasons, hopefully breaks through into the first team for goods. And you've also got a couple of other players like Podolski. So it's not highly, massively effective if you think about it. David Vier isn't going to change the team mainly. But we're going to start with the goalkeeper. And it's going to be Julio Cesar. So obviously he plays for QPR that actually got relegated to the championship. So it looks like he won't be staying there. But he's on the high wage. So Arsenal are going to have to get a lot of cash to, uh, towards him. Because he's on around at least 100 grand I would say. I don't know for certain but you can tell me in the comment section below. So I've actually included Julio Cesar and it looks like from what I've seen it doesn't really look like they're interested in any other goalkeepers. He's not the youngest but he's certainly got a lot of experience and he did really well for QPR. I think that if they had Robert Green in goal all season QPR would have been certain to go down by around maybe the March kind of part of the year. That uh, kind of part in the year. And yeah, yeah, he saved a lot of goals, he saved a lot of shots as well. And obviously he actually was a goalkeeper for the Brazil team at the Confederations Cup. So going from relegated with QPR to winning the Confederations, Confederations Cup, I can't ever say that word. But yeah, so going from a championship team to Arsenal, it's probably highly likely because probably Kai's wage down a little bit. But tell me in the comment section below, what Arsenal goalkeeper do you think they should get? Because obviously Chesney and Fabianski aren't the best of goalkeepers. So we're going to move on to the three centre-backs. So for the three centre backs we are actually using a 3-5-2, I've actually picked Koyate from Andelect, I've picked Williams from Swansea and I've picked Ogbonna from Arsenal. So it looks like Ogbonna might be on his way to Juventus, maybe someone like Inter Milan, AC Milan or maybe Arsenal. So it looks highly likely they'll go to Juventus but there's still a chance they might offer him enough money. And could you imagine Ogbonna in the, cha in the Premier League Championship? What the hell am I on about? But the Premier League, think how good he would be. Don't actually know how good he is in real life, but I've heard good stuff about him if Juventus want the Serie A winners from this season. They seem like a good team for Ogbonna to go to. So tell me in the comment section below, where do you think Ogbonna will go in the summer? Because it's really likely that he'll actually move because Torino on the best of teams, which is his current team. So we've got Williams in the rock in the centre-back position, the middle centre-back position. And he's from Wales, obviously plays for Swansea and there's been massive links towards him and Arsenal were actually interested in Papadopoulos but he's actually going on his way to Liverpool so it looks like they'll turn towards Williams I'm guessing around maybe 3.5 million and that kind of range because he's not the youngest player and not got the best of potential and he'll still he slot nicely next to Koscielny so do you think Arsenal will play at four at the back formation next season and we've also got Kiate at centre back I think Arsenal apparently are going to make a bid for him but I don't think those rumours are that strong or that story is that strong because I think he'll stay and elect or maybe move to like a French team or something like that so we're going to move on to the centre midfielders and we've actually picked Thiago and Fellaini so there are a number of clubs looking for Fellaini obviously he plays for Everton it could be Man United because obviously David Moyes is the new Man United manager you've also got Chelsea who are going to offer probably a lot of money for him Man City uh, I think Liverpool at one point actually wanted him but it doesn't look like they'll go for him and yeah tell me if you want to see Liverpool next they've got a lot of new signings so tell me in the comment section below if you want to see Liverpool next and we've also got Thiago, 82 rated now. I think he was an 80 on the last game, or the current game, you could say. And actually, I've actually put him up to an 82 rated. It seems like he won't sign a new contract for Barcelona. I'm talking to Fabregas in a minute. I will talk about if he's going to sign a new contract or not. So Thiago, 82 rated, really young. He's got a really good, promising future ahead of him. And you've also got Fellaini in centre mid as well. So 83 and 82. And maybe they'll play Wilshire there, maybe Cazorla, and get a new centre attacking midfielder. So let's move on to the more attacking midfielders. So it looks like Arsenal make a bid for Rooney because I've actually apparently made a bid for Suarez which has turned down I think it's 25 and a half million. It looks like he'll go to Real Madrid. So I've actually pushed Rooney down to an 86 just because he's had a really poor season and he's quite old now. He's not the fittest anymore and I don't, I don't think he'll be very good anymore. I think Man United is, is the right time for him to leave and I don't think he'll have much 
influence or much effect on the Man United team next season. So we've got Fabregas in the middle. I think it's, I don't know about this, but you can maybe leave a link in the comment section below if you can find it towards Fabregas. So I think he might have signed a contract, but I'm not too sure. But you could tell me in the comment section below. So we've also got David Villa on the left. I've talked about him. He looks like he's on his way to Atletico Madrid. I think that'll be a great buy. They obviously have Adrian, they have, no, I was, going to, I was going to say Falcao, but imagine him and Falcao up front. But anyway, David Veer, they've got Adrian as well, I think, who's a really good uh, midfielder. Not a midfielder, a really good striker on FIFA at least. Don't know how good he is in real life, I have to watch some videos about him. So, our two strikers are going to be Higuain and Jovetic. First one, Jovetic, 84 rated. It looks like he might be on his way to Arsenal, Real Madrid. A lot of teams are wanting him, and he's got some really good stats, both in real life, and they've actually pushed him up to an 84. And we're going to finish the team with Higuain and he's from Argentina, plays for Arsenal, 85 rated. So I actually pushed him, I've actually stayed him, put him the same because I, in my opinion I don't think he's had enough game time this season because obviously Benzema is much more preferred in those parts in Spain and I think Higuain hasn't had enough time to show how good he is and yeah tell me, this is the main question of today's video so the most likely signing for Arsenal is probably Higuain so in the comment section below do you think Higuain will score over 15 goals, 20 goals, 25 goals so leave that in the comment section below and imagine Jovetic and Higuain up front together so my predictions for next season's Arsenal team as a whole so I think they'll get Julio, Julio, Julio what the hell am I on about yeah Julio Cesar in goal I think they'll have Jenkinson at right back maybe Sanya for the next season or two then they'll have Williams and Koscielny at centre backs and then they'll have Gibbs or Monreal at left back and then they'll play I think two in centre midfield I think that's what they play, play at the moment I think they'll get honestly I think they'll get Fellaini I think he's the right club for them and we've got Fellaini and we've got Wilshire in centre mid. You've got Kozola at Cam, you've got Walcott on the right. And you've got, I think, uh, Podolski will play on the left. And then Higuain and Giroud maybe, maybe Jovetic. But you can leave that in the comment section below. So if you have enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter for daily updates on what video I'll be doing next. That really helps you out, hopefully. And thanks for 700 subscribers, a big thanks to that. And hopefully we'll get to the 1,000 soon. So I'm really looking forward to that. And tell me what, what you want to see for the 1,000 subs, maybe like a face cam reveal or something like that, maybe like a massive pack opening or something like that. So tell me that in the comment section below. So I'm going to leave you with this team, a 3-5-2 formation around Arsenal. And by the way, the highest rated player in this team is Fabregas, 88 rated. Do you think he'll be 88 or do you think he'll be go going down to around like 87, 86? But that's about it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, there's a Barcelona link in the link. There's a Barcelona a video link in the description below. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.